Hello everyone, today I'm going to start a new series on this channel and it will be judo analysis. In this video our target is Abe Uta, one of the greatest female judoka nowadays. In every single video like this I'm going to analyze six aspects of each judoka. The first one is age, height, weight category and off-season weight category. The second one is fighting and gripping style. The third one is the strongest technique in Tachiwaza. The fourth one is the strongest technique in Newaza. The fifth one is for what she or he generally receives Shida. The sixth one is Judoka she or he lost to. So Japanese Abeuta is one of the greatest and the youngest Judoka who became Olympic champion. She is still 22 years old. It is incredible how good and completed Judoka she is at this young age. Right now about her height she is 5 feet 2, so I think it's something around average height at her weight category. So it only shows that she isn't some genetic piece in case of the physical aspect. Right now about the weight, here it will be very simple because her weight category is 52 kilograms and of course she is losing some weight before competition. But if we take a look at her social media and some photos of the off season, she keep a really good shape for all of the time. And in my opinion, she is losing something like three or four kilogram before competition. It can be a little bit more, but not less for sure. So it's a perfect for such a low weight. So about the fighting style, I can easily define as very, very aggressive and offensive. After the Hajime, she is pushing so hard her opponent. She prefer right side and that's how she aligns her body on the tatami. And her left hand is the one which makes a distance between her and the op. She's trying to keep the way where the op will move her body and reacting correctly. Maybe now towards about her legs. Mostly her right foot is all the time pushed forward. When she's moving on the tatami, she's making a little swings in purpose to deconcentrate her opponent and to mark the movement when she will try to catch the grip. When it comes to the grip, Uta has a few tournament schemes to catch her best one and throw the opponent. But every single grip has something in common. Her left hand is trying to catch the opponent's sleeve from the outside and pull as much gear as she can to make this grip stronger. During this, she tries to tie the wrist by the gear to create some struggles for the opponent and prevent free movement. And if things come to this situation, she is starting joy. A few moments later the first situation is when she's trying to catch a traditional grip, sleeve and collar but at the chest height. If the collar is impossible to catch, she is marking that she is going for the collar, but then she makes an overhand catch for the collar behind the head and right there she saddles the opponent as she wants. The second situation is when she's already have a grip by her left hand, but her right hand is pulled by the op, she tries to lower her body a little bit and use the power of the yuke and instantly make something like a one hand uchimata, as you can see on the video. She does this for most of the situation like that. Kind of similar situation is when again she has grip by her left hand, but the right one is free. For example, when the grip fight just started, she instantly moves her body to the left side and makes a solid surikomigoshi. She also makes something similar but with her right hand. She tried to push really hard her opponent by catching the collar and during that she is in the same time pushing her leg to harai goshi or osotogari, something like that. In the close situation, she makes it like a bear grip, but her left hand go between the end of the back number. Next, her right hand catch near to the armpit or at the other hip and she make Ochigari then. In general, Uta hand in 99% is catching the sleeve and control the opponent and his moving direction, but the right one is wander from the classical collar catch to the overhand one or for the other sleeve and it's hard to say what her next move but that's why she's so good. Right now I will show you three of the strongest Abe Uta techniques in Tashiwaza. The first one is Sodetsuri Gomigoshi 
from the two sleeves. The second one is Uchimata from the classic grip or overhead collar. And the third one is Uchimata also, but from the Sode grip. And here we go, the fourth part, the strongest technique in Newaza. Uta makes very often her most popular and the strongest Newaza technique, which is Sumika Eshiro with the Udegavan grip. It is her transition between the Tachiwaza and Newaza, and that's why she makes it only for one side. After the throw attempt, when she still has a grip by her left hand, she is in the insane speed in front of the op, and here the op have to be in the turtle on or the belly and by keep holding the left hand grip she is making more space for her right hand as you can see here then she makes an udegarami grip pull a little bit high the up and make a sumika ashiro and there are two ways of ending it osaikomi or handlock so now about shidos Based on the stats from the last 11 events, she got on average 2.5 Shido per event, which is awesome result for real. Of course, sometimes it was 4 or 5 at one competition, but on the other hand, there were tournaments when she got 0 or 1 Shido, what is brilliant. If we go a little bit deeper, we can stand out 3 the most common Shidos she received. The first one is Refusing Grip, the second one is No Combat, and the third one is negative judo, but it all comes from her fighting style and type of grip she uses. So in this part of analyze, uh, we are looking only for the series seniors judo tournaments like Grand Prix, Grand Slams, Europeans, World, and of course Olympic Games. Abeuta have lost only six times since 2016 to 2023. She lost against Tsunoda Natsumi at the Grand Slam Tokyo 2016 in the final. Amandine Bouchard, Grand Slam Osaka 2019, again in the final. She lost against Teresa Stroll, Mixed Teams Olympic Games Tokyo 2021 in quarterfinal. And Subone Nanako, All Japan Championships 2022 in the final. And she lost twice at the All Japan Championships, 2018 and 2017, but I can find who defeated Uta then, so if you know, write in the comment down below. And it was Judo Analysis, thanks for watching, remember about like and subscribe button, and I am Aswin.